in this economy, current economy, and the fears of if she gets into office, and my eggs are $45, how do I afford my $45 eggs and my building situation? Good morning, all. Let's see, this is dad. Say hello to the people. Hello, it is me. Oh, I just fell in a giant hole. Why is it, why is it like that? We are taking a walk. That is my building up ahead. Taking a little walk to clear my mind before going to work. Something I've been talking about on my channel here is my condo here that I own in Miami. The maintenance of my building at one time was like one something, like a hundred and something. Then it was like 200. And it went from that to 818 a month, plus a 161 a month assessment that's been going on for years. It probably will be another one. The pool is condemned. Behold, the condemned fish, because it's shaped like a fish. Oh, and that? Oh, and the condemned dock area. Not dock area, but ledge, yes. The building will write out to the residents it's being opened any day now. Whereas we wrote, I wrote the state health department and they said basically there's a lot of things that need to be done before it can, it can be reopened. So the work that you see being done here is for the 50 year like recertification. I mean, our building is like nine years behind, something like that. I don't even know how it got that far behind. There is a lot of mismanagement being a simple example I could give you, not even getting into this, is the fact that, as, as I've mentioned, the head staff does not keep an eye on the other staff. So we pay for the halls to be maintained for cleaning crew. Uh, that crew is usually in the halls, watching music videos, drinking coffee. Uh, they spray some Windex into the air. It becomes a comical joke. Many of them, they don't even wear any identifiable uniform to show that they work at the building. There's a few uh, members of the staff, they're in regular clothing. They just sit in the lobby, you'll catch them sitting on the sofas, just watching and playing on their phone. Uh, the recent shakeup was that the building manager is no longer here. Some of the board members really loved him, so they wanted him back. And that, as of now, as far as I'm aware, doesn't seem to be happening. I'm in total agreement with you with this situation. I'm not gonna rehash everything in this video. At one time with this building, they put out a notice that said, you can't sell your property if there's an assessment and you can't pay us every dollar up front, can't come out of escrow. In a Zoom session, one of the board members made a comment to one of the owners, well, if you can't pay up, we'll just take your unit for you, from you. That same person was making comments that the building was on a very, very desirable uh, area. I live here right now, so I take on these things. When that happened where they were trying to say that you could not sell, which sounded unthinkable, I got an attorney and I handled that situation with this. And then it came back, it was a mistake. They basically counseled their client and they advised that anything could be paid during escrow. But it was a very, very strenuous time period. It was the same time period that I basically had lost my job. I was working as a substitute teacher at the time through Dade Schools. At that time, they had a gimmick going that you could only work eight days per pay period. So out of a 10 day pay period, two weeks, you only could work eight days as a way for them to avoid paying you health insurance or benefits. Then a private company came into play, Kelly Education. It became, they lowered the standards. Anyone, anyone basically could become a sub. And I basically couldn't get a day of work anymore at a school that I had worked for four years. And that's dad in the background. I think I said, wave again so the people know who you are. Hello, it is me. Hello. But it's very, very hot out. So I'm gonna to start to head this way because I still need to be able to go to work. It's always going to be something with this building. I live here now, so I have to keep up with everything that's happening here. If I, if I spotted something that was odd again with the building, once again, I would have to get an attorney because I live here. My, my money is invested in here. So I, like so many of you have said, I mean, the amount of money I'm paying and you're not even taking into account the taxes is like I'm paying a mortgage. And I need to, in the long run, move. And I have a lot of ideas where that would be. And I just need to think about how to reasonably accomplish that because um, it's difficult to sometimes maneuver a move though not impossible and I would like to get out of this situation some of you have said get out now but I, I if I sell today I won't have any money out of the unit because the the property value has probably been lost by a good two hundred thousand dollars if you can imagine that again this is sunny Isles Beach this is a very desirable area yeah we have a few dinosaur buildings here but we also have 
the Porsche Tower and all these buildings here where cars go up the building in an elevator, you know. In this economy, current economy, and the fears of if she gets into office and my eggs are $45, how do I afford my $45 eggs and my building situation? Something just fell off the roof. So something just fell off the roof and fell all the way down. What is falling? F was that? I'm gonna walk this way. As many of you mentioned, that ain't normal. I'm not sure how exactly to zoom in on this. They have got it attached. Is working under them and over them. The is under the little one. Yeah. Is pushing it up. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. I hope the economy gets stabilized out. I hope that you see me move out of this situation here into a more stable life. I have to have optimism because I can't, I can't in the long run take this on, you know, another five years or something like that. It has to be something that I get out of this situation. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Look at the beauty. It's very nice. I honestly better get upstairs and let the camera cool off because it is a bajillion degrees out here and it's super hot and I have to cool off again because my car doesn't have air conditioning. But thank you all so much for being here. I will see you again soon in my next video and bye!